Well, just the sort of weather the fans were hoping for this evening. It's absolutely ideal. I'm Derek Ray, your match commentator, and alongside providing all the tactical analysis is Stuart Robson. And this is where it all starts in the UEFA Champions League. The group stage and match day one. My goodness, so much to look forward to. It is young boys facing Villarreal. Yes, cheers, Derek. Well, what an occasion it is for this club and its supporters. These are the games that they dream of. No doubt in they're the underdogs. If they can frustrate their opponents, stay in the game up until half-time, you just never know. Hopefully we get a great cup tie and maybe even a massive surprise. So the initial 11 for the home side. Well, a 4-4-2 system relies on good combinations all over the pitch. The front two, the central midfield pairing, the fullback and winger, and of course the centre-backs. If you can get these combinations right, you'll have a good team. The Villarreal starting 11. A towering presence in goal in the person of Geronimo Rulli. Raul Albiol starts alongside Aisa Mondi in central defence. Dani Parejo starts alongside Manu Trigueros in central midfield. And the idea is to have just the one striker up there trying to pose problems for the opposition. Strong play here. Well, let's see if something comes of this. And the problem not completely solved. Trigueros. Moreno. It's with Parejo. Untidy in possession. Always difficult to predict in advance who might decide a game, but you could make a strong case for this man, I think, Stuart. What are you expecting to see from him? Well, Derek, what form is in at present? Second in the league table in terms of goals. He's been so clinical, and I expect him to score more goals today. Gerard Moreno. Moy Gomez. Now Parajo. And intercepts again. Elia. Well, that is how to run at defenders. And the decision offside here. Parejo. Capu now. And that was a very fine read. Decent position. Possession given away, unfortunately. Raul Albiol. Capu now. Alberto Moreno. Parejo. Pedraza with it. Mondi. Moy Gomez. And here's Gerard Moreno. This looks interesting. Now Trigueros. Moreno. 
keeping the ball moving. Oh, surely! And there it is, the opening goal, 1-0, and they'll feel they deserve it. Well, here we can see it again, and it's all about the pace of the passing. One touch, slick movement, and from there, he never looked like missing. That's a lovely goal. So the ball rolling again with the scoreline standing at 1 0. Dangerous looking through ball. Hefty. Christopher Martins. Splendid defending, and it needed to be. Manu Trigueros. Well, the pass not finding its target. Elia. No chance for him to get in behind, maybe. And will it be the level out? Oh, a save right out of the top drawer. Super stop. And there's the delivery. Not really the ideal clearance. And a time for calm on the ball. Pedraza. A bit of running room now on the wing. See Batu. So one minute of stoppage time. That's what the officials have said. Alberto Moreno Gerard Moreno and back with Moreno Pavejo mastery of the passing game Pavejo and so it is the first half story has been written I think most fans would be pretty happy with this man's display so far. Well, I thought he had a really effective first half. Not only did he get the goal that gave them the lead, but his general play was really good. He was a constant threat, and I'm sure we'll see more of him in the second half. And so the second half of this Champions League group stage match day one contest commences. Manu Trigueros. Spraying passes around, almost waiting for the opposition to make a mistake. Deserves credit for winning the ball back. See Bacu. A really single-minded piece of defending to make sure nothing untoward happened. This might be the perfect counter-attacking opportunity. Can't miss, surely! Well, the keeper is happy the bar was there. Martins. Well, I think just lost his focus for a second and a throw-in conceded. Moy Gomez. Capu now. Can he play it in? Opportunity for Reino. And a goal! They've added to the lead. Much needed security.
Well, here's the replay, and it's a really inviting ball played into the box, begging players to attack it. But from a defensive point of view, it's not good enough. They stop marking in the box and don't close the scorer down. That's just poor defending. So 2-0 now. Shot down the four. It's opening up for them. Not getting anxious when they have the ball. Well, it came to nothing in the end. And well, the conditions look pretty good for the counter-attack. Defenders need to cover. Gaspar using all his defensive acumen to cut it out. He's found a pocket of space. Options in the centre. Martins. A goal! Just what they needed! Still plenty of life in this match! Well, as we see it again, he was never going to miss that, was he? That's a really simple finish in the end. Well, underway again, it's a narrow 2-1 lead as things stand. Just 20 minutes remaining now. Well, keeping hold of the ball is what it's all about for them. Etienne Capou. And he did well to cut it out. Capou. And an astute piece of defending. Throw ins given. Substitution time it is here. Well, this game ebbing away and the visitors on course to eke out a narrow victory. Stuart, your thoughts? Well, they should have had this wrapped up long ago. Some of their football has been excellent but they're going to need to be resilient in these final few minutes to get their much-deserved victory. Well, they no longer have the ball. Well, let's see what they have in store for them on the break. And return to Trigueros. Gaspar, keeping it moving dynamically. Trigueros. Here's Moreno. Perfectly positioned to take it away. And space to cross it. Capu. Parejo. Taking care of business defensively here. Moreno. A oh, good hit, close shave. And it is substitution time at this juncture, not just from one side, but from both. So full time it is, and a morale boosting three points on the board to begin their European campaign. Well, you always want to get off to a good start, and that's exactly what they've done here. 
Now they can look forward to the next game. They're in a great position. Well, he often cuts the figure of a thinking person's footballer. And Stewart, he's thought his way throughout this match. Well, I thought his all-round game was excellent. It was his ability to find space that impressed me most. And with a bit more luck, he could have had a second one today.